What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can start importing products to your Shopify store, step by step. But I'm pretty sure right now you're thinking, but I already know how to do that, that's, that's pretty simple. Well, I'm pretty sure that what you're thinking about is actually just the plain, boring, manual way. While yes, we are gonna go over that, there's actually two other ways that you can upload products. Now, I'm gonna be giving you these three options in a specific order. It's gonna go from the slowest all the way to the most efficient and quickest way that you can upload products. And trust me when I tell you that you don't wanna miss out and you actually wanna watch the video the entire way through because these are some ways that a lot of people aren't necessarily aware of, or if they are, people actually think that some of these ways are a bit more complicated than they really are, which honestly, they're not. It's extremely simple and it's extremely easy. And trust me, I'm gonna be saving you an insane amount of time. Don't overcomplicate it. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you wanna learn how to import products to your Shopify store quickly and efficiently, then make sure you check out this video all the way through. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we do go ahead and get started, as always, I'm gonna have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different steps that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. If you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below the hashtag Shopify and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with the link to the sheet. All right, now let's get started. All right, first things first, the first thing that you need to do is simply have a Shopify account. So none of this is gonna work if you don't have a Shopify account. That's our number one and only prerequisite. If you don't have an account with Shopify, all you have to do is just go ahead and check the description down below, or you can check out the link in the cheat sheet as well. Now, once you're signed up for Shopify, then the next thing you need to do is open it up, sign on, and go to your products page. So we're gonna start off over here. Now, once we're on this page, I'm gonna show you one thing before we actually get into the product importing. If for whatever reason you need to export your products from here to, let's say, upload them to another Shopify store, or if you wanna try maybe opening up a second Shopify store where you're gonna sell your products at a discounted rate, like a wholesale store or something like that, then the first thing you need to do is click on export over here. And where it says export, go ahead and choose all products. Because if you click on only current page, if you have multiple pages of products, then only the first page that's currently showing, the products on that page are gonna be the only ones that export and you might lose the rest. Now, if you already have products on here and you're looking to import more products, let's say a lot more other products, then I highly suggest you also export your products just in case there's any technical difficulties, you have a backup. So all products export as, you can just leave the first option here, CSV for Excel, and click on export products. Now, this can take a little bit of time. This isn't something that's gonna update immediately. This is something that is actually gonna be emailed to you. So once the entire process is ready, then you're gonna get an email with your CSV file. Now, the first thing we're gonna do in order to actually import our products. So the way that pretty much everyone starts off with is gonna be by simply clicking on add product and adding the product manually. So let's say I wanna import this particular speaker to my Shopify store. So what I'm gonna to have to do is, to make things easier for me since I have a Windows computer, just go ahead and on one side open up the product, on the other side open up my Shopify page to add my product. So this already is starting to get a bit time consuming and a bit tedious because there's a lot to do. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and copy over our title, paste it over here, then go on over to our description. We're gonna look at right here and then we're gonna take all of this and paste it there. Now we can also include all of these different images in the description, but that's not something I've ever liked doing. I feel like most people that add all of these different pictures in their description and they add them also onto their pictures or their photo section, it's just overkill, it's way too much. So I'm gonna leave this as just basic text and then I actually need to start saving all of these images. So right click, save image as. Oh, and that's a WebP file, that's, that's great. So for anybody that knows what that is, it's pretty much an image file that is absolutely useless. Like, I don't even know why it exists in the first place. It really, you, you can't do anything with it. It's like an internet image. There's no way that you can actually take this image and use it. So if that's the case, let's run to the second one. Save the image. This one's also WebP. For those of you that don't know, we're looking for either a JPG or a PNG. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Also, same thing goes for the ones up here. So you can go ahead and click there. And you can't even save this one as, yeah, because it saves the entire website. So the next thing we're gonna have to do in order to save these is something that's gonna take even longer, is open up paint. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy your image, paste it on paint. Then we're gonna go ahead and save it. I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. JPEGs use less memory. 
uh, speaker one. Let's just keep it simple because this is going to take some time. Copy image, paste it here. And then obviously we want to crop it so that way it actually takes up the right amount of space. And then we want to save this as well. Speaker two. Then we're going to go to our next image, copy this one as well, paste it on top, crop it so it fits, save as JPEG. Speaker three. All right, so as you see, we've only done three pictures so far and it's already taking a little bit longer than it should simply because these images are the wrong file types, but it is what it is. This is just something that was part of the business. It's part of the process. So now we're going to go to media on our Shopify store, click on upload new, and we're going to choose our three images. So next up, the next thing we need to do is figure out our pricing. So let's get out a calculator. So typical price is $9 and 48 cents shipping. And it's not telling me how much it is, but you do get free shipping over $10, but this isn't over $10. So let's add to cart. And then this in total comes out to $6 and 73 cents. So shipping is $1.99. So let's take that into consideration. $1.99. So in total, we're paying $11 and 47 cents. So we want to be able to sell us from two to about two and a half times our sourcing price. So $11 and 47 cents times, let's say two and a half. So we want to sell it for about $28 rounded off. Let's do 30. So then our pricing is going to be $29.99. Then our inventory, how much do we have? We don't need to track this inventory because we're going to be tracking it through our supplier's website. So in this case, they don't show how many they have on hand. Oh, there you go. 913 available. I'm not going to do all 913 because you never know. So instead, I'm just going to leave this unchecked and we'll just check back on this every once in a while to make sure that it's still in stock. Hopefully nobody purchases it when it is out of stock, because then we're going to have to quickly look for a new supplier. But this is a huge problem that a lot of dropshippers face suppliers either running out of inventory or increasing their prices without giving any notification to the people that are purchasing their products and selling them or dropshipping them. This is a consistent problem in the dropshipping industry one that you really can't get around, but there are a few solutions, one of which I'm going to show you a little bit later on. And trust me, it's extremely efficient and it ensures that you're never going to miss a sale. You're never going to lose out on profits. And if your supplier runs out of inventory, then it's just going to show us sold out on your store, but a little bit more on that later. Now shipping, this is a physical product. Yes, it is. How much does it weigh? It's kind of something that we got to guess, or we can simply just message our supplier. So we can send them a message, ask them how much each shipment weighs, but I'm going to assume it's not that heavy. So maybe about a pound. And honestly, that's already stretching it. Now the different variations. So we have colors, black, white, blue, rose, red, and green. That's more like pink. So let's go ahead and add our different variations, different colors. It already added pink and blue. So Shopify is getting pretty smart with these things, but then we also want to add black, white, and green. This is actually really cool. The fact that it auto filled the colors. This is not something that I've seen before. So now we have all of our different variations, click on done. Everything's going to be the same price. So they're all $29.99. Now the rest of this, we don't really have to fill out, but it is recommended. Now that right now is about it. So besides that, we can add any tags, add 20 collections, or just change any of the stuff here, but we don't really need to do that. So now we just click on save. Now, did you see how long that took? It, it didn't take that long, especially if you're just doing maybe one or two products, but imagine having to do this 10, 15, 20 times. This is something that can take you an entire day to do. So it's safe to say that importing products manually, it's effective. It obviously works. Everyone does it, but it's going to take a long, long, long time if you're trying to do multiple products or if you really want to add a lot of products to your dropshipping store. So let's say, again, you want to import maybe 20, 25, 30 products. Get ready to sit in front of your computer for quite a few hours or at least one day, get everything ready, download all of the images. And then the next day, start doing the actual process of importing them. But this next way I'm going to show you just makes it a lot easier. Now, the next thing we need to do for this second option is going to be running back over to our product section over at Shopify, and then we're going to click on import. So here, what we're going to do is then click on download sample CSV and we have it over here. Then we're going to run to sheets.google.com and then click on blank spreadsheet. And now we're going to click on file import, and then we're going to upload that sample CSV file that we downloaded from Shopify import file. Just click on import data. And now we've got to give it a few seconds for it to actually import and have Google sheets process it. 
and that's it. So this is the next option to uploading products. This way it actually helps you upload a bunch of products at once. This is pretty much the bulk upload. This is the middle option that we're going to talk about. While it can make a lot of things a lot quicker, it also gives you a lot of rooms for errors. So let me show you a few things. Let me show you how it works. So handle here, you have to simply just put a few examples of what you're selling. So let's say you can put, I don't know, if you are selling a t-shirt, you can put car t-shirt. And then on the second one, you could put something like old school retro t-shirt, things like that. Under title, you're going to put the actual title of the product to make things a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and open it up on a separate tab so you can see what I mean. All right. So here under title, you're going to put the title, which is going to be the one that goes up here. Then the body, which is going to go over here is essentially what's going to be going over here, which is a description. Now it says HTML, but what that means is that you can put code. So if you know how to code a website, or if you know how to code the front end of a website, you can add that here. But my suggestion to you, just type in a description, type in the description for your product and move on to the next one. Vendor, that's going to be the brand of your company or the brand of the product itself. Product category, is it a toy? Is it an apparel and accessories? Is it jewelry? You're going to put that here as well. The thing that I don't like about this is that Shopify should be able to give you a, a drop down box so you can choose and make it easier. But instead, you actually have to type it in. So jewelry, right? Now, if you type something incorrectly, unfortunately, that is going to disrupt the upload process and you might either have to start over or just make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be on your spreadsheet. But aside from that, you have then the type. So what is it? It's a shirt. These are pants. This is a hat, different tags that you want to add to it, which is going to be these over here published true or false. That means it's going to be active or it's going to be as a draft option one, option one value, option two name, option two value. This is pretty much going to be all of your different variations. That's it. As you can see, this is something that can potentially get a little bit complicated. And again, you want to make sure that everything that you put here is accurate. This isn't going to affect the upload process, but it will affect your variations. Then you have the variant skew. Now, this isn't something that's 100% necessary, but it's on there just in case you do want to add a skew to it. Then you have the variant grams. Now, what is this? That's actually the weight. So if you're weighing everything in, let's say pounds, you're going to have to convert it to grams and then upload that here. Then besides that, you have a bunch of other things that you need to make sure that you get correctly, like the image position. So as you can see, there is a lot that goes into this, even an entire SEO section, Google shopping. It's it's a lot. Now, while not everything is mandatory, it is something that is going to start becoming a bit time consuming also. And if you're not paying attention and you make a couple of mistakes, that's all going to reflect on your product import process, or it can essentially just cancel out and it's not going to work. Now, there's one very important thing that I need to show you because I was wondering the same thing, and that's how do you upload images? Well, this here gets a bit complicated. So what you need to do in this case is give them a link. So if you click on this right here, it's going to take you directly to the image source. So it's going to be just the picture. Now you can do this using, let's say, let's go with this speaker. Now you should be able to do this with these different products. So run to the description. Usually descriptions on AliExpress are going to have pictures. And then what you're going to do is right click, and then you're going to look for copy image address. Now, if we type that into our browser, you're going to see that this is just that it's just the image. So we can go ahead and then put that over here. And then we can do that for all of the other products. Now, again, this is something that it's going to take a little bit of time. It is going to be faster than doing everything manually, but you have a lot more room for error in this case. Now, once this is all done, all you have to do is just simply click on file, download, and make sure you download it as a comma separated value or CSV. Now, once you have that done and you have your file ready, you're going to run back over to your product section over at Shopify. You're going to click on import, and then you're going to add your file. And then that is going to start processing all of the products that you're uploading. All right. This third way is going to blow these other two completely out of the water. This is going to be the most efficient way and the quickest way that you can get everything done. Trust me when I tell you that you're going to be able to import 20, 30 products in less than 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Compare that to a few days. So check this out. For this, you're going to have to have another prerequisite, which is going to be an account with AutoDS. Now, if you're not signed up with us just yet, or if you're on the fence, then you can try us out for the trial period for just $1 for the next two weeks. And then you're going to get access to some of the most powerful product importing tools on the planet. Check this out. So first things first, 
Once you sign on, you're going to have in the marketplace. Here, you're going to have a lot of different products in various niches that you're going to be able to import directly to your store. So let's take this ice maker, for example. I like it. It looks pretty interesting. I want to import this to my store. All I have to do from here is simply click on import draft. And then this is going to get transferred to my draft section. Now, I'm going to show you the draft section in a little bit, but let's continue showing you a few of the other options that you have on here. This juicer is actually really cool. Let me import that one too. All right. So the next thing you can do is simply click over here where it shows add products. And then you can go with either single product or multiple products. I like to do the multiple products because I like to upload multiple products at once, but you can also use this for a single product. So here you have the option to upload a CSV file as well, but I don't like doing that. I like using this URL or IDs. So here I have these PC speakers, this Bluetooth speaker, and this Bluetooth music light bulb. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the link. I'm going to cut it so that way you can actually see that I'm copying it or cutting it. Paste it over here. Press enter. Go to the second line. Same thing with this one. Paste it right under. Enter one more time. Last set of speakers. And paste it. Now I pasted the URLs or the links to three different products. From here, you can see that the suppliers are all through AliExpress from China. Now click on add as draft. That's it. That's literally all you have to do. Do you see how much more quicker and efficient this was than having to save all of those images, make sure that all of the text is correct on the CSV file. It's insane how much easier this is. Now, besides this, besides the marketplace, you also have the handpicked product section where all of these different products are just that. These are products that are handpicked by expert dropshippers, all of which have a history of trending or are currently trending bestsellers. Now, the cool thing is, let's say these right here, perfect for the summer. Once you click into one of these products, you have a lot more information. So you have an engagement score. How active is this on social media? Are a lot of people talking about it? Is there a lot of buzz around it? These are active and it's actually got an engagement score of 80. So yeah, there's a lot of buzz on social media about this product. Now, what about the saturation score? Is there a lot of people selling it or a lot of people trying to sell it? This one in particular is actually at a hundred with full market. I have not seen that. This means that there's a lot of people trying to sell this product. So is it worth selling? Is it worth trying to put this into your dropshipping store to sell it? Yeah, it always is. Why not? Right? You don't really have much to lose. Now, the best way that you can start selling this is going to be through social media, using different social ads, making TikTok videos, making Instagram reels, showing off your product and telling people where they can get it. Now, if you don't know how to make those videos, if you're not very good at it, then don't worry because we actually have a section that's dedicated to that. These videos can serve as inspiration to you to create your own content. Now, besides that, if we look at some of the other products on here on the handpicked product section, some of these are going to have a lower engagement score. Some of these are going to have a lower saturation score. So just look through all of the different ones that we have on here and see which ones work for you and which ones are best for your store and your niche. Besides that, we also have the trending product section, which this right here are also a lot of different products that are in our system, but these aren't handpicked. These are all actually imported by AI. So our AI scours the internet and it looks for the most trending products with potential. And it just updates everything on here so you can look through it and see if any of them catch your attention so you can sell them yourself. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you before we run over to the draft section is going to be the print on demand section. The reason I'm showing you this is because you can also import all of these different products to your store with the added bonus of customization. So you can add your logo or your brand or any image you want to any one of these products and then sell them as your own. Now, we don't only have t-shirts. There's also things like different types of accessories, which can include phone cases, towels, cups, hats, decoration. Decoration is going to include things for the house, things for Christmas, posters, my personal favorite footwear. You can actually customize shoes on here. That's insane. And home and living. Here, it's going to be the same thing. So you have things for around the house that you can put your logo or your design on. Once you have that done, then it's automatically imported to your draft section which we're going to get to right now. I know you've been waiting for that. So click on drafts. Then we have all of our different options or different products on here. What we can do is click to edit. And this is where we can make actual adjustments to our listings before they go live on our store. So here we can optimize our title. We can add it to any product category if we choose to, depending on the platform that you're selling on, whether that be eBay, Shopify, Etsy, or whatever it is, this is going to change. It'll give you the option to add to collections, categories, or whatever is relevant to your store. But besides that, then you have the shipping methods, which you have from cheapest all the way to the fastest. My suggestion, always go with cheapest with tracking. Don't just go with the cheapest because cheapest with tracking is going to give you an actual tracking number. And then you have a bit more information on here. Then you have your description where you're going to be able to update it directly on this page, or you can even optimize it with AI. So 
the product title and the product description, you can optimize both of them with AI. All you have to do is go ahead and click on it, choose a tone, so make it a bit more sellable, temperature, leave it as balanced, and AI right. It's gonna take what's already on there and it's gonna rewrite it for you. So title of the product, it's gonna give us computer speakers, PC, sound box, hi-fi stereo, and a bit more. And then it took all of the information and it just made it a bit neater from the description. Besides that, we have our variants where you can go ahead and choose whether or not you wanna sell this one or this one. You can delete it, you can edit the price, whatever you want. Now let's click on edit really fast. You remember how I was doing the math manually with a calculator to be able to figure out how much I'm gonna sell it for? One thing I don't know if you noticed or not is that I wasn't taking fees into consideration. That's because a lot of the times people forget to do that. Now here through AutoDS, it's actually calculated for you. So what are your fees? Shopify is gonna charge, I think, 3% per credit card transaction with a 30 cent fee. Now, how much do we want as profit? I wanna sell this for 75% profit, just as, an, just as an example. Profit dollar amount, I'm gonna leave that blank. And there we have it. So our total profit in this particular case is gonna be $6.79, and we're gonna sell it for $16.64, and we're gonna source it for $9.05. Now, I don't know if you noticed or not, but the 3% in fees and the 30 cents in fees are not included in our total profit, but they are included in our selling price. This is the beauty of AutoDS, or at least one of the beauties of AutoDS, is that it takes the guesswork out of everything. So if you're not taking fees into consideration, AutoDS will do that for you. As long as you have the proper numbers on here, let's say I'm, I don't know, I have 18% in fees, then you saw my total profit stayed the same, but my selling price went up. Let me increase my profit to 100%. Selling price went up, profit went up. $9.05, selling price 22.44. See how much easier that is? Besides that, we have the images where we can go ahead and remove any images, add any images, or even edit any images with our built-in image editor. Once we're done, once we're ready to have this product go live on our store, all we have to do is simply click on save and import, and it'll be automatically imported to our store where people can make a purchase almost immediately within maybe one to two minutes. Now, the best thing about using AutoDS to import your products to your Shopify store is that you're not limited to just Shopify. You can upload your products this easily to eBay, Etsy, Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, Amazon. AutoDS makes dropshipping pretty much streamlined and simplified. On top of being able to automate your product importing, it also automates your entire dropshipping process. So from your product importing to your order fulfillment, AutoDS will automate it for you. Now, how does that work? Well, simply put, there's two different ways to automate also your product fulfillment. The first one is automatic orders where you're gonna tell AutoDS what your login is for AliExpress or Amazon or whoever your supplier is, and you're gonna supply them with your credit card or your debit card or however it is you wanna pay. In which case, whenever somebody comes to your dropshipping store, makes a purchase, AutoDS is gonna take your information, run over to your supplier, log in on your behalf, make the purchase on your behalf, and import all of the customer's data to the shipping profile. So that way you don't have to do anything. The order is gonna go directly from AutoDS to your supplier, to your customer. Now the other way is gonna be fulfilled by Amazon, which is actually my favorite way of doing it, where you're gonna top up a balance on your account, which every single time that an order is placed, AutoDS is gonna use that balance to pay for your order. Now on top of that, it's not gonna use your buyer account. It's actually gonna use its own buyer accounts. So if you're using Fulfilled by AutoDS and let's say you're sourcing products from Amazon, then you're never gonna have to worry about your account getting banned or flagged because as we all know, Amazon's not too friendly with dropshippers. But since AutoDS has their own buyer accounts, AutoDS is gonna use its own Amazon buyer accounts, never touching yours to fulfill your order. And those were the three different ways that you can import products into your Shopify store. What did you think of the ways of doing this? Did you think that they're efficient? Which one's your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, just go ahead and comment the hashtag Shopify and let me know what your takeaway was from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means a lot. Please make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping stores, and I'll catch you all next time.